Hello guys, <laughs> I hope you are okay in this beautiful week. We are going to start with our activity for this week. Remember that we have we are in the page 40 until the page 43, where in our shaping language in the term number two, yes, and we are going to to continue reviewing the topics, for example, present simple, present continuous, past simple and past continuous. Yes? Let's go! Remember that as I told you before, we are going to work, we are going to work from the page 40, from the page 40 on to the page 43. This is our page 40. Yes, it's going to say this. For example, the point number one. For this section, you are going to listen about Nathan's Nathan's vacation. What words do you think are going to be mentioned in this story? Write six of those words below. So we have six boxes here. One, two, three, four. Five and six, perfect, very good. So you are going to write just one word for each one of the boxes. But what kind of words? If you consider, if you think that in the story you are going to listen animal, so you write here animal. For example, it's one example. If you consider, if you think that in the audio file in the Nathan story. You are going to listen the word school. You are going to write here school, okay? So give me six words that you think that they are going to be mentioned in the story. In the point number one, number two, we are going to listen to the track, and we are going to write the corresponding letter to complete the sentences. How is it? Remember that all the audio files, all the resources, you are going to find them below the activity on System Aunos platform. So here you are going to find on the platform. What do we have to do here? We have one, two, three, four, and five sentences, yes? But look at this, they are incomplete. So, we, are, we have to complete them with those different sentences. But for example, if you think that the sentence number one is going to be completed, for example, by the sentence A, you are going to write here the letter A. If you consider that this is going to be another example, if, you, if it's going to be completed by the letter D, but this sentence, you write here D. So you are going to have one complete statement. For example, if you consider that here, the letter A complete here, so we are going to say, Uncle Alan was blowing up to the balloon when the balloon got stuck in a tree. It doesn't have any kind, a lot of sense, but the ideas that you give me, what could be the complete sentence by connecting and linking each one of the letters here in each one of the of those lines yes so here we are going to write the name of our favorite adventure story just the title the title of our book of our cartoon i don't know or movie just about something that presents an adventure story perfect in the page number 41 we are going to have this, the number three. Number the pictures to match the sentences in the last activity. How is it? We have five pictures. We are going to connect for each one of the sentences. We are, look at this, one, two, three, four, and five sentences. That they are in a written part, but here they are in a picture part. You are going to connect which one of the pictures connects in a good way with each 
kind of sentences, okay? For example, if you consider that the sentence number one, um, the, the sentence number one is going to to be about or something related to the to the first picture, you are going to write here in this little box here the number of the sentence here, okay? Then we are going to the point number four. Write five sentences related to the to an adventure, any kind of adventure, the adventure that you want to. It doesn't matter. We are but we are going to use simple past or past simple and past continuous. Remember to watch a different grammar topics recordings or videos that we have to understand better the topic. So it gives me five sentences. You can use the both in the same sentence or just one in simple past and the other one in past continuous, whatever you want. Just this is going to be in class. So we are going to discuss about these kind of sentences. We are going to to converse. We are going to just talk about those sentences. How did you wrote? How did you write them? Okay. In the point of, in the page number forty two, we are going to to create to make a reading activity, but reading and, and writing. So read the story. This story, and choose a word that you think that is going to to give the sense to the complete sentence in that case they gave us and the word word yes so you are going to give me one word <clears throat> that you consider that you think about is going to give sense to the complete paragraph okay but word look at this we have the possibilities here War, cars, park, sad, theater, movies, zoo, and Friday. So we are going to connect them with this. The word or the object or the person that you consider that is going to complete the sentence and give the sense that is okay. Use in conclusion, in a briefly part, we are going to complete this box with each one of the, the words. Just for example, if you consider that number one. It's going to to be park, so right here park. But read, please read the paragraph here. Finally, on the page number forty-three, that is something interesting. That is something dynamic here. You are going to draw. Tell me what is in. Tell me in a drawing, in a picture, what is the place that place that you would like to see, to visit, to go. For example, in my case, I would like to visit the Eiffel Tower. Yes? So, in that chart, in the both charts, yes? You are going to give me one, what is that place that you want to go? Yes, maybe it could be here in Colombia, maybe it could be in another place, um, another country, another continent, I don't know. Tell me what is that, that place that you, you would like to go there to visit. Okay, guys, that is activity for this week. No more, guys. See you in class. Bye bye.